Oh my god, we've got a code 19 already, guys? Welcome to Jurassic World. Oh, also, yes, we've got Pro Copton. So, hello, everyone, welcome uh, to Jurassic World the game. Yes, uh, not the first bit. Yes, this, this is one that gets the intro. Okay, so we have a code 19. Somebody in the dinosaur park has come down with the pandemic. And it is Red Bull himself. Ooh. Also, uh, guys, just want to mention that there is a competition going on in the Discord um, to design the banner for um, our Discord, the Beaver Game Beaver Corner. Um, so if you do want to be, well, want to enter, um, it does need to be digital art. Um, you can find the dimensions and everything in, uh, in the Discord. It'll be on the channel on the left. Somewhere on the left. Um, you also do need to be 13 or over to be part of the Discord. Uh, that's just part of Discord's uh, rules and all that jazz. All about safety, you know. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd, I'd let you guys know on here just in case. But we have a lot to go over in this episode. There has been... Oh, Jesus, did you see that? <laughs> well, that's, that's a pro play there, James. That's a big brain. Big brain. Oh, okay, have we got another one? I can still hear it. Oh, we have another one. Here we go. Oh, T-Rex herself is wanting to break out. No. We got this, guys. We got this. We can contain Rexy herself. Come on. I can do it. I swear. It'll be good. So, uh, yeah, there is a new hybrid in the game. Um, there's also uh, Procoptodon. I finally saw... Are you kidding me? How does that how does that even work? I clicked it and it went, nah. <laughs> you bugger you. I wonder if it thought that I took my finger off it. I didn't. But uh, maybe maybe I need to clean my iPad. Maybe. I don't think so. It looks clean, but uh, I've had that in the past, like on that one in particular, where I click it and it goes, nah, fail. And I thought to myself, oh, maybe I uh maybe what I did was start at the wrong end, but I definitely didn't that time. I know that for a start. Okay, well, that's that done. Another eight. Ooh, and we're all good to go. So, before we get into anything extra, let's go into coins. And let's just get some good hybrids. And let's collect our coin again. Just to make sure that we get the most out of our money. And go to here. And what do we get? Oh, a prion suit. This is all free DNA, by the way. Coin and Jurassic again. And an Ostafricosaurus. Every day. Every day I can get three legendaries. Oh, it's awesome. I love that. Please don't break it, Ludia. I know what you like. God. Oh, upgrade for 50 and speed up. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to take books to upgrade, but I guess fair enough. Um, we also, I don't know if it's gone now. The Juggernaut was here. Oh, not Juggernaut. Sorry. Omega. Oh, nine was Is it still here? No, it's gone. Oh, we missed it. I was gonna do it for the video. Oh well. Anyway, well we got plenty to do anyway. So we have the Jurassic Park month now, or Jurassic Park week event. Now we got the Jurassic World defeat nine opponents uh, to win the Jurassic World pack, which gives us um, only resources. All right, fair enough. Is there anything extra? So now I faced up against Procoptodon, and oh my god. I never realized how tiny the thing is. It's... And now, th th we, we, things aren't, like, accurate size in this game. We know that. We know, like... We, it's just Ian Jurassic Park Builder as well. In Jurassic World, the game, they didn't bother. Uh, <laughs> because they're like, sod it, nobody can Jurassic Park Builder. Uh, Procoptodon is the size of a mouse in comparison to a mammoth. It, it's ridiculous. So we are going to spend 50,000. The most expensive pack I think, for VIP points, is this. And I never... Like, this is only for VIPs. I never wanted to spend this. But here we are. Would you believe? Um, so, Procoptodon. And I got 4,500 bucks. Which, you know what? Isn't bad at all. That is a good amount of bucks. Uh, Procoptodon. And how many VIP, po yeah, VIP points do we get back? We get back 3,900. Which really doesn't reimburse us. And we can save with another one. Should we? Should we? <laughs> I mean, we save... Ah, my leg. 7,500, right? So we and then plus the 3,000. So we're saving 10,000. And there is no way to get Procoptodon without buying another pack for 50,000. So 
We could have one for level 10 for the rest of this game's life. Because I'm not going to buy another one for 50. Or we could just buy this now and get at least a level 20. And I think even a level 20, it's probably going to be worth it. So, you know what? 42,000. There you have another one. Didn't get as lucky this time. Uh, so, in total, that is 6,000 books we've got. Plus um, 15,000 DNA. So, the DNA is pretty decent as well. It's just a shame that it's so expensive. But we do get the same amount. So, we did save like 10,000 on that. So, there's another 3,000. And there you have it. Wow. So, what did you get in the solid gold plus pack? Oh, okay. Oh, no, you can get it in that. Bollocks. But it is 35,000. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really not too much cheaper. Uh, so, actually, if you do want a Procoptodon, that is probably the best way to get it. Um, so, what I'm doing still is just... Epic. It's crazy. This takes a week. It's crazy. Um, I'm still just rattling through the tournament creatures. Once they're out of the way, I can finally start working towards getting rid of my surplus of dinosaurs. Because you know me, guys. I mean, look, these are commons, right? Look at the amount. 30, 30 in 1920. Rares, still up to 30. Uh, super rares, 13, 13, 5, 5, 13, 40, 15, like 21, 18, 18, 35 uh, of those. And then we go into legendaries. It's just as bad. 8, 3, 19 Sarcosuchuses, 10 Shunosauruses. Like, I have so much. 23 Theras. I have so many dinosaurs. Just, just so much DNA just sat there doing nothing. Um, I'm wondering if it's, if I, what I could do instead of getting books or sorry, buying more from the trades is just selling them. So maybe I could, I could trade like a dinosaur for DNA and maybe that would be better. That could be worth it. So if I have a chance, I'd rather do that. Just get rid of it. If I can sell a dinosaur for DNA, I'll do it. Maybe I make a little bit of a loss, but I don't care, dear. No, no, no. So... Not only, but well, we are going to have to speed up, um, actually, well, we don't have to, actually. Or maybe we, yes, we do, we do. So we are going to spend some books and some DNA to get the new hybrid that was added to the game. That is another level 10 monostegatops. Uh, we could make another level 20. Uh, we could make a level 40 monostegatops, and that would be so good. Should we get a level 40? That's what we're going to do this episode. This episode, we're going to get a level 40 mono stegatops. Now, this will be our first ever super hybrid level 40. Because um, I don't think... I, ha I definitely don't have Indoraptor. I don't have the Diplosuchus. Uh, mono stegatops is going to be the only level 40, I think. I don't think there's anything else. I could be wrong. But here we go. There's a level 20. Uh, already, if you look at the stats, oh god, you look at the stats of level 20, 4,000 health and 1,277 attack. So, I use this guy um, all the time. Uh, it's it's not necessarily in the highest leagues. I use it like if it's, you know, where I'm facing up against level 40 Pritrodons. I would use this, though, against it. Uh, level 30, definitely. But, um, at level 40, I'm definitely going to use it all the time. 100% all the time. And because eventually down the line, we're going to be getting, what you call it, the, um, we're going to be getting the building that allows us to speed up creatures. It's a probability I'll be using it for this guy. So here we go. Level 40 mono stegotops. Oh my god, yes. It has taken so long, so long to get this guy, but we're finally close. I don't believe it. There you go. Boom. Level 40. Collect. So 5,000 health. 1,588 attack. That's only level 31. And at level 40, 6,033 health and 1,885 attack. And look at the colors and the horse. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I love it. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. You're the new, you're a super Red Bull is what you are. Damn. Damn. So, I mean, the stats aren't too different if you compare a level 20 to a level 40. But it, it makes a difference overall. And the fact that it's only super rare. If the stat change was for an Indoraptor this much, which it is, it's not worth it. 
Um, especially when I use Interruptor at level 10 all the time. With You know, it's got 2,000 attack at level 10. It's crazy. So we may as well collect um, the final one, which is 80 free books and 1,500 free DNA, as well as like 1,822,000 food. Modus Degatops is heavily armored and can inflict serious damage with its powerful charging attack. Well, there you have it. It's a dangerous something to be trifled with. Uh, no, not to eat it. Don't eat it. Uh, so if we look at our roster. Oh, that's only commons. Um, is it this one? No, nope, they're only amphibians. Do I have any battle work? Yes, here we go. So where is it? Where does it stack? Like these are all like legendary tournament hybrids or super legendary hybrids up here. Where does it stack? There. Look at that. Better than a... A, a VIP, is it a VIP or just a legendary hybrid? Level 40, better than that in terms of health. Not in terms of attack, but, but it's like a hundred less, if that. Really flipping good. And look, I mean, look, when you consider a level 10 Indoraptor is on par in stats, basically. With Monostegatops level 40, it tell it says everything. Um, so, with that said, we've done that. Um, it frees us up to get the new hybrid. So, if we look, I, st I have apparently 14 dinosaurs in total um, I don't have in the park at all. I haven't created. Um, so, we haven't done the... Uh, I missed out on, I think, these two. I might. I don't think the crocodile's been done yet, but I missed out on the deer, Eucladoceros. I missed out on that, but the Tapijella salad, uh, Tapijella salad, uh, that thing. I am getting close. I'm a hundred off, um, but everything else I have made and fused, and that's why it doesn't. It no longer exists. But we still have Procoptodon, uh, so we'll have a look at Procoptodon because Procoptodon will be pretty easy to get. It's, it's a it's a VIP creature. It'll be it'll be in the hatchery two seconds. So we could just speed that up. So here it is. Procoptodon. 100 bucks. Really nothing when you compare, compare it to Arcanthostega, whatever that thing is, which is 1,500 bucks. And it's nowhere on par with Procoptodon. Are you ready? Oh, it looks pretty sizable, doesn't it? It doesn't look too bad. It's got them childbearer nips. Uh, but look at it. Oh, it's great. Let's see the animation. Up, up. Skip in the... Ooh. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look at that. No uh, little cheeky camera cuts to hide animation. Well done, lucky. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's all so cute. We got level 10. Almost 1,000. But look at the attack. 506 at level 10. Woo. Remember, it's never worth keeping something level 10. Because level 20, all you need is one more. And you get so much bang for your buck. So, with that in mind, we do have one extra. Uh, so we're going to go back into the hatchery. And we're going to spend another 100 bucks on that guy. Uh, also, I forgot to see what kind of type it is. Oh, it's a savannah. Okay, then. Not bad at all. So we'll get you to back up there. And a level 20, unfortunately. But look at it. It looks big, right? I mean, it looked big in the in the thing. It looked big in... Even when it's in the test tubes, it looks big. But when it's in battle, it is the smallest thing <laughs> ever. Totemo... Uh, what's it? What is it? Um, totemo... Chisu des? Totemo Jisu desu kado. Although it's very small. <laughs> very, very small. And I think that's to do with the app trying to save space. So you've got these really detailed models, but the actual model itself is tiny. So it takes up less space in the app. Uh, so here we go. Level 20, 867 attack and 1,665 health. Um, so it gets like an extra 300 attack. Yeah, not, not a great deal of health, but 300 attack. Two attacks, that's like, what? 800 damage. In just doing two attacks extra. That's crazy. So, Procoptodon. Procoptodon lived in Australia. Would you believe I lived in Down Under? During the pl a place you seen surviving until about 50,000 years ago. How crazy is that? 50... It's not that long when you think about... I mean, it is long, but it's not really in the grand scheme of how long the world's been around. One type of Procoptodon, P. Golia, stood up to 8 to 10 feet uh, meters tall. Making it the largest kangaroo to ever live. I mean, 8 to 10 foot. Oh, it's still like 4 foot bigger than me. Which is crazy when you think about it. And that's just for a kangaroo. You imagine how powerful those legs are. 
Good God. <laughs> he could tear you in two with a kick. Uh, so, that is still... We are 50 minutes into the video, guys, and we have still not seen everything that is in this game that has had to offer. Um, I do want to check this to see if any of this is at all worth it. Uh, no. These lotteries are... I mean, apart, if you want to watch videos for free and then maybe spend coins on these, it's probably worth it. But uh, as me making a video, I don't have time to watch it. I can't, I can't be bothered to edit. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> uh, so we have another thing to do. And if I remember right, it's the Leeds Ichthy. So the Le the, the, I was going to say the most newest. Oh my God. <laughs> most newest. Is that a word, James? Most newest. Just the newest, the newest uh, aquatic creature in the game has a hybrid, um, which is crazy because it came out like a week ago and then it got a hybrid straight away. Um, so we need to evolve it uh, to get to level four. So we need to buy seven more. Oh, unlocked via special event. What? What do you mean unlocked by special event? Didn't I unlock it by a special event or did I bought it? Oh. Okay, never mind. I can't make it. And something else has caught it. Ah, oh, something else has got code 19. I bet my video's going to be demonetized now. Damn it, Lydia. You conspired against me, AIDS. Oh, you done breaking out. Oh, God. Okay. We're not getting too much DNA for this, though. It's like the, the strongest set. It's like the second strongest dinosaur in the entire game. And I'm, I'm not getting much DNA for it at all. Okay. See, look, that worked that time. Come on, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. <gasps> you don't having such a good time. It's having a ball. James can't really sing, but he's gonna. You're gonna put up with it because you're stuck in his video. <laughs> All right, come on. Da, 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 da. Getting some good free DNA here, though. That's not bad. And finally, the bottom one. Uh, he, oh, he did it. Taking 225 DNA to, to 390. Wow, look at that. Perfect containment. And getting one-tenth closer now to the hybrid that we do not have. So, with all of our new creatures, we do have Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatl. We, so, let's get the common one. The common one's pretty easy. Um, we'll just put in these guys. That, that, that's easy peasy. But I do want to take on the unlimited battle to try and get the common pack. Because um, the, the battles are hard, but they're not, like, they're not as hard as they have been like i've seen battles in just the regular like some sort of a battle event which are super tough so unfortunately we are oh wait there's a triceratops whoops well even still it's only got 105 attack bless it and i can kill it in three hits so as long as it attacks oh well you know what i might as well even if it blocks for two we're still gonna do damage and it didn't fantastic uh makes my job easier that's for sure uh, okay uh, so we've got two more battles and Hyungasaurus uh, kills that in one hit. And then I think it can kill Hatsukopterix in one hit. I need to make this level 40. And I saw somebody say that I needed to make a hybrid or level something up. That's it. It's the Smilo, Smilodon hybrid in the glacier. That's apparently really good. So I need to level that guy up. And hopefully we're against fires this time and i'm just putting the uh labyrinth dinosaur yep there it is and there we go one hit right off the bat and i'm pretty sure utah raptor dies in two hits Whoosh! you know what this event is probably the best in the game because <laughs> it's super easy it's basically free food which you're gonna use anyway and it's free vi vip points as well so did he block oh he did block for one oh you buggy you still died one more hit though so it made no difference. And you don't kill me in three hits. <laughs> I'm just, guys, I'm a pro at this game. I've been playing. I, can I can I call myself a pro Jurassic World the game player? <laughs> Is that a title? You know what? I'm still going for speed run. I'm still going for the speed run there. Uh, <laughs> for unlocking everything. Can you speed run this game? That'd be amazing. I want to I want to type that into like speedrunners.net or whatever it is. Jurassic World the game. What? There's no speed run for it. How dare you? So we're still getting closer to unlocking Megalosaurus. Um, right, so we have to welcome Jurassic World. So this is only defeat nine opponents, right? It can't be that hard. So let's put in dinosaurs that, are, you know, we, we, we don't see too often. Like Zalmonodon, that's a good one. Glyphornex. Um, and what else is that we don't see too often? That's around about this area. 
Um, Sopranotite and Concavenator. Let's see. Now, it can't be too tough, right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's even got the type advantage, and I kill him in one hit. Fantastic. Now, hopefully it doesn't get too hard. This is the Jurassic World event, so I'm assuming that we're going to face up against everything that's in Jurassic World, ending with Indominus Rex. So that was a Triceratops. We've got Gallimimus. So I'm assuming that we'll see... Um, well, well, Carnotaurus. We'll see Baryonyx. We'll see Apatosaur. Uh, we'll see T-Rex. And Kylosaur, yep. Maybe Parasaur as well. Um, I mean, there's so many dinosaurs. Is there, um, is there anything else in Jurassic World that we might see that's in this? Brachiosaurus? No, <laughs> that wasn't Jurassic World. Although it was retconned in for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And then 1 million percent Dilophosaur will be retconned in for the final movie. One million percent. I mean, if Colin Trevorrow can retcon an entire bit of the park, like the lagoon to go into the, uh, cause it was landlocked and then they were like, nah, it goes into the ocean. They can definitely uh, retcon um, a Dilophosaurus. They could definitely do that. Okay. I mean, they did have the hologram for Dilophosaurus. So technically it was like, why would you have a hologram of a hey, hologram of a Dilophosaurus if it wasn't even there in the park? So I, I, I'd assume it is there. Just we're, we're finally going to have like the the hoot of it in the movie, and everyone's going to go, "Hey, there it is! It's coming! It's coming!" And I mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. I just wish that it wasn't this like, finally here it is. It's kind of like the Rupu sound effect, like da -da -da. <laughs> But it, I'm pretty sure everyone will be psyched to see it. I know I will be. But it's like, come on. It hasn't appeared in any movie since the first one, and yet it's had a toy in, like, every dinosaur toy line. <laughs> Lost World it existed. Jurassic Park 3 it existed. In between it, I think it existed. Uh, Mattel's, oh, sorry, Hasbro Jurassic World line it existed. Um, and uh, eventually when Mattel got it, they made it Dilophosaurus as well. So they cannot stop making it. I mean, what other dinosaurs had an impact on the franchise? that big that it hasn't appeared in any of the movies except for the first one has had toy line in everything and uh gave loads of people nightmares um it has to be dilophosaurus it's the icon actually it's better than the t-rex because everybody knows what it is but it has only been in one movie wow that is a that is a legacy uh, like to leave behind okay so we did get t-rex we did get the power Ooh, ooh, Winnie's cooking food downstairs. Ooh, I can smell that. That smells gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. Um, oh, no, there's no, no Indominus Rex. Oh, okay. I thought we'd finish with, like, a level 10 Indominus Rex or something. But, oh, and he, oh, the queen takes out Glyphornix. And in comes Concavenator, who made an appearance in Fallen Kingdom, would you believe? That just went on Netflix. So if you do have Netflix, um, it should be. I mean, it's on UK Netflix. I don't know if it's in America. It might be in America. But, yeah, I watched Fallen Kingdom again for the first time in like three years. Um, and it's all right. Like, I, I have no strong of, uh, opinions to it. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's all right. There, there was one thing that I noticed and we'll, we'll, we'll do the same again. We'll just put in like lower level creatures. If it's gonna be the same, is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's harder. Oh no. Okay. Yep, yeah, Dilophosaurus did not feature in the movie except for hologram, but whatever. <laughs> Speaking of Dilophosaurus. Yeah, there was one point, right, and I think the problem I have is Chris Pratt's character, Owen Grady. Um, in Fallen Kingdom, for example, I want him to have emotion so badly. Like, he he's stuck outside the gyrosphere, and a Carnotaurus is facing him down, and he shows about, like, 10% of an emotion. He's, like, got his mouth open, looking at, like, oh. <laughs> and then the Brachiosaurus dies in front of him his emotion mm, just like looking down like oh <laughs> there's like so many scenes where he could have so much more emotion like it's like they i mean chris pratt he's a he's a superstar right he's an actor like a, a i don't know what you call it i guess yeah I, there was a there, there was a certain term and i was like if if a like if an actor has that term they just play themselves like jeff goldblum's a star uh that he always plays Jeff Goldblum mostly. In fact, actually in Fallen Kingdom, he didn't really play himself too much. He did have like a little bit of a, I mean, if you compare him to Thor, 
like that Thor movie, what was it, Ragnarok. That's just Jeff having fun. Uh, and that's just Jeff being himself. Whereas Ian Malcolm's like a little, he does actually act a little bit. I noticed that. Um, and wow, we're there at the end. We're already here in Apatosaurus the finale. Not not in Dominus Rex, Apatosaurus. Yeah, and I want, because Chris Pratt's character, Owen Grady, is a watered down Star Lord. Star Lord is funny, he's charismatic, he's stupid, but, and he's a lovable oaf. And he, like, he park, parks and wreck, Chris Pratt, lovable oaf. In, in Jurassic World, He's like, he's a lo he's he's kind of a lovable loaf, but not really. He's kind of a badass, and it's like he's stuck in this weird realm of like I'm 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 you know I'm Chris Pratt, but I'm not really. I'm kind of a badass, but I'm lovable like loaf, but I'm not really. <laughs> and I I don't really emote, you know, kind of thing. And he's got this backstory with Blue, and he should care about Blue. And all you see is you you see him watch this video, and this the video doesn't seem he doesn't emote anything. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, I do care about her. Oh God, Chris, give us some. Maybe maybe it's the direction, maybe it's the character he's been told to play, but I think that's the reason why I just don't relate too much. And as far as Claire Deering, I'm not too much of a fan of Bryce. I uh, think she's an alright actor, but um, I'm I, I'm I'm alright. I'm not too I'm not too fussed. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, ooh, it's gonna be amphibians. Well, this is gonna be easy. I thought I was gonna have to use mono stego, but uh, oh, telling you that though, five thousand attack. Good lord! Uh, yeah, let's just put in those guys. Not not Gorgosuchus is not too crazy because we are nerfing their attack. Saying that though, I do need to go for a block. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> the toughest team. Oh my god! Go for two attack, please. Thank you. Good lord. Okay. Now, pro, pro, what's this guy called? Proto, protorogra, oh my god, Proto, protogogrinius, grinius, I think that is, okay, whatever. Have you heard the story of Darth Sidious? <laughs> right, I'm just, I mean, Precious Hooch has got more attack. Oh, and that's perfect. I think we've won, but it's hard to say when we're facing opponents that tough. So 2,800 can def definitely kill it in three hits. Uh, two hits is all, oh, two hits it does. Okay, so. Um, I have to go for what? I mean, what's the attack on this thing? Three. I have to go for three block. I can't take one, like two hits. I can only take one, barely. Look at that. This is crazy numbers. You expect me to do this? Whoa. Oh, and he goes for four anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Does kill him, and three reserves Sonic, and there we go with one. That is so tough, and Protor Protr a Trudon should have more attack. Oh, no, it doesn't. Ah. Well, there you have it. We've won. Oh, my God. Thank you, Winnie. Oh, that is lovely. Num nums. I could smell it from downstairs. <laughs> Don't. How dare you. Like. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've won this one. I'm just going to put that seven. Do, do you mind if I eat? Just have like a... Um, <laughs> it's turned into ASMR. Oh, she's made me a lovely stir fry. What is this? Asparagus, broccoli, egg noodles, mince, carrots. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Do you want a picture? Should I send you a picture? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll end the episode here because I don't want to keep on eating while... We're playing. Oh, God! <laughs> Almost flew it out. <laughs> Hit the fork and went, wait! Common! Woohoo! Oh, ooh, a Langus. You know, out of all the commons I could get, I think you can get more, maybe. But if I can get all the commons, I'd put yeah, a Langasaur. You know what? Yeah, that, that means I need to I need to max them. So what we'll do is we'll go into the hatchery. Oh, God, it's a rare next time. Fantastic. Um, We'll go into hybrids. And there he is. And he shouldn't take too long. 51 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and look at that. Even more DNA. Getting close to another mono And getting close to another Indoraptor. I don't know how this happens. I end up um, getting an Indoraptor. And before I know it, I'm over a thousand again. So yeah, we'll leave it there. We have done so much. So many, well, not too many battles. But we've done enough battles. We've done a lot. Uh, and we've seen so many new creatures, the level 40 mono stegatops. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to use it yet. But, I mean, look at that. Look at those stats. For a herbivore as well, there's not too many, like, tanky and uh, high attack herbivores. A Patasaur is the only VIP, I think. No, uh, 
Is it VIP? Yeah. I think it is. Hold on, let me have a check. I think Stiggy Morlock is what- Oh, God! Oh, you know what? Okay, fine. We'll end with a code 19. Um, because a Padasaur, it's got loads of health, but because it's a herbivore, uh, carnivores don't- Carnivores are mainly attacks. They have high attack. So, having- a, I only get five DNA for this? Are you kidding me? So, only for, um, yeah, a- What was it called? What was I gonna say? Yes, a Padasaur has high health, but that means nothing when it's always facing up against carnivores, which have high attack. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess it makes sense if it's against a Pteranodon and it has loads of health and it nerfs Pteranodons or Flyers' attacks. So, yes, but against its weakness, it is. It's like it's like in Pokemon. It's got a times four weakness to its, it, you know, its weakness. It's like a dragon, like a Dragonite. It's times four for ice weakness or it's like a Gyarados times four for electric weakness because it's flying and water type. That's what a Padasaur is. It's horrible. <laughs> even against whatever. It, it, it's not even like a Gyarados. It's like it's like a Magikarp having a times four weakness. It just isn't good. It splashes around and does no damage to anything. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye